is here. Welcome back. Hope you guys are feeling good. My name is Bikumi BK Crown. Thank you so much for clicking. So this priest was confronted by church members for allowing Muslims to pray inside the church. Let's watch this, guys. <laughs> Look, we, we, we want to peacefully protest, all right? We want to peacefully protest. You had a Muslim cleric in there preaching the call to prayer. How dare you? That's an absolute disgrace. We're here now. We're here to protest just. Yeah, it's not just this. Can you explain protest. yourself? You protest outside the gate. No, the Catholic Church belongs to the people of Ireland. It belongs to nobody else. We're not allowed to any collections, anything be taken up outside the gate here. No, but I'm saying this. I have no objection to you doing it outside the gate. Look, Ireland belongs to Jesus Christ, nobody else, and the blood of our martyrs. It doesn't belong to foreign, satanic cultists ah. like you brought into that church. If you listen to the reading this evening, the first, the first reading that everybody who does into acts with integrity and justice is welcomed on the mountain of the Lord. That's the first No, no, no. The no. You're a heretic. No. You're a heretic, Father. No. You allowed a, a satanic no. pagan no. worshipper no. in our church. How dare you? Shame on you, Father. Stand back. No, shame on you, Father. You're a heretic. You're a heretic. Shame our church. Wow, this is serious. Story. We're here to peacefully protest. Uh -huh. That's all we're trying to do. We don't believe in allowing satanic pagans into our Catholic Church. This is a Catholic country, not a Muslim country. We will not stand idly by. Shame on you, Father. Shame on you, Father. Locking the people out of the church. So there you had it, um, the father, local priest here in Ballyhonis, um, is one of the most uh, diverse um, uh, parishes in the whole country, full of Muslims. In here, in this church, in this Catholic country. They reached their limit of 50 people so that people don't pick up the coronavirus, that's all. And that's okay. And you are the people why I left the United States and I'm going to make Ireland my home because it's turned into the most progressive, wonderful country. So just don't ruin it. <laughs> Progressive. Progressive. Can you, can you you, it's, it's, it's complete heresy allowing satanic pagans in there preach their, their disgraceful actions. How is, why are you allowing imams, Muslim imams in the Catholic Church? Can you explain that? They deny the, the divinity of Jesus. They don't believe in the Holy Trinity. They are there. We have videos of them in there. So here in April, you had an imam um, saying the call to prayer and the Catholic Church was an absolute disgrace and we're here peacefully protesting the complete uh, overthrow of the Catholic Church by liberalism. It's an absolute disgrace. Um, we're here peacefully and you just saw the local priest there come out and attack us and call us all sorts of names and saying it's not our church. The Catholic Church belongs to the people and a, a priest said to me quite recently that sometimes the Catholic Church uh, leads people but right now it's the people should be leading the Catholic Church. So we are still trying to get the Irish Patriot newspaper to print. The latest issue is effectively ready to go. We're ready to send it to the printers, but we still haven't hit our target yet. We need our followers, we need our listeners, our viewers to help us out. We don't get funded by NGOs. We don't get funded by the Irish state. We rely on you, our listeners, to help us out. So if you can, scroll down below this video. There's a link to the newspaper fund. Click that link. Donate 10 euros, all we're asking for. If you can afford more, that's fantastic. We have the only Irish nationalist newspaper in the whole island of Ireland. We have distributed hundreds and hundreds of thousands of newspapers. Our members have. And thank you very much for doing that. So please, if you can chip out, that's fantastic. Scroll down below this video. Click on the newspaper uh, fund link and chip in 10 euro or whatever you can. Thank you very much. All right, please, guys. I need to ask a question. <sighs> Well, before I go further, guys, what this man did, he went too far. Yes, there's a way to approach things. There's a way to talk. There's a way to, you know, protest. There's a way to, you know, point out your own view or say your opinion. You get it? But if saying that they're satanic, they're this, no, it was too deep. 
you don't insult people's religion just like that yes talk fight for your rights but do it in a peaceful manner so before i go ahead with that you know this imam was invited by the priest church priest to come and you know do call to prayer for call to prayer to come and do his quran recitation so the the, the imam came to pray do muslim prayer inside the church why church members were in church you get it so some people didn't take it no they didn't take it lightly at all because it was strange to them why would you bring another religion to your church to come and officiate the church assuming he was invited to church to come and listen to the you know christian word of god to the bible it's different they would have been calm about it because a lot of muslims go to church quite well but you're not officiating and even pray in your own you know religion you know taking over everything is something that they didn't like but i want to ask a question really quick the same way this imam could accept this invitation to come and pray inside the church if a christian wants to go to the mosque to you know to do prayers christian prayers or preach the word of god in the box will they be allowed will they allow them will the mosque allow them will the imam allow them will people allow them to do so in the mosque no to me i always believe that do unto someone what you want them to do unto you yes i know the reason why they are fighting for that because they believe that why will the priests allow the man to come and do muslim prayer during church service whereas such things can never be allowed in the mosque your religion is different from our religion so not to shoot you know yeah that means indirectly the priest is trying to convert the church members into islam because for the priest to invite the imam to come and pray officiates muslim prayer is like is one step out of christianity is one of his legs is outside christianity he's already thinking of moving or converting to islam so a group of these church members came out they started protesting that this shouldn't be allowed and the priest was angry at them that why would they behave that way and they were like the church is for the members it's not for you so that's why I, I have to throw that question because to me it's it's strange it's strange in my own opinion please i'm not trying to attack any religion here please i'm not trying to attack anybody but to me i see it like if things like this should be allowed in church why can't pastors also go to mosque and pray and officiate prayers and you know preach the gospel of god preach the gospel of jesus christ why can they be allowed are they allowed to do so are they allowed that's the that's my question please let me know are they allowed if they're allowed they're fine what this uh, priest did is correct but if they are not allowed then it's wrong for the priest to bring an imam into the church doing church service it's strange what are you trying to tell your church member what are you trying to do that means you're not confident in your religion. That means as a, as a priest, you don't even, it's like, you don't even know. You're you are not into Christianity again. Maybe you're just finding a way to just, you know, look for an opportunity to convert and also take, carry people along with you to Islam. That's how I see it. No hard feelings, guys. That's how I see it. But what that man did was wrong insulting their religion saying that they are satanic they are this no don't insult any religion yes you know when somebody invites you to something you have to say yes or no maybe at first the imam did not accept nobody can know what happened behind the scene maybe at first the imam did not accept but the priest assured him maybe the priest also assured him that oh don't worry it's, it's fine you can come and officiate prayer nothing will happen the church members should be cool with it this and that so nobody knows what really happened behind the scene so the person you should focus more is on your priest ah daddy why did you bring and you talk in a calm manner there are some situations in which you cannot handle with anger when you talk angrily you cannot pass the message rightly anger will not make you pass message well before you know this you are supposed to say you won't be able to say it correctly because you're angry 
and you won't make any sense and the person will not even succumb to your opinion but if you say it with wisdom you say it calmly you protest peacefully and let your priest understand that this is his daddy majority of us were not cool with it i think that i don't know whether the the, the mom was still in church that day they protest because it sounded as if the man was still in church the imam the muslim imam was still in church but let's leave that one aside i'm just saying it so the 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 insult was just too much you shouldn't insult the imam you shouldn't resort islam don't do that don't do that you don't know who is at fault you don't know what really happened you don't know why the imam accepted to come you don't know what really happened so you have to just talk in a peaceful manner that's my opinion so let me know your point of view guys regarding this story regarding this video guys let's keep the discussion going you know in the comment box thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one bye